In 1992, audiences were introduced to The Bodyguard, a romantic drama that left an indelible mark on the lives of its stars, Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston. Directed by Mick Jackson, the film revolved around Frank Farmer, played by Costner, a stoic bodyguard who reluctantly takes on the task of protecting Rachel Marin, Houston, a superstar known for her diva-like persona. Before production began, Costner had a specific vision for his co-star, aiming to cast the most beautiful woman in the world. His choice? Whitney Houston. However, securing Houston for the role proved challenging due to her race and lack of acting experience. Despite initial doubts, Houston ultimately accepted the role after Costner personally reached out to her and expressed his unwavering determination to have her star opposite him. He even went as far as to inform her that the movie would not proceed without her involvement. Houston's portrayal of Marin was nothing short of revelatory, and her on-screen chemistry with Costner electrified audiences. The Bodyguard proved to be a monumental success at the box office, but it was Houston's mesmerizing rendition of I Will Always Love You that left an enduring impression on fans worldwide. However, beyond the film's commercial success, speculation has persisted about the nature of the relationship between Costner and Houston. Many wonder if Costner missed a romantic opportunity with Houston, given their undeniable chemistry on screen. At Houston's funeral, Costner delivered a poignant eulogy, reflecting on her insecurities despite her immense talent and global fame. He spoke of her enduring self-doubt and the burdens she carried, which ultimately contributed to her greatness. Costner's heartfelt words, coupled with the enduring friendship he shared with Houston until her untimely death in 2012, fueled speculation about the true nature of their relationship. In a 2012 interview with CNN, Costner admitted to being infatuated with Houston, declaring her his one true love. Their bond extended beyond the silver screen, as evidenced by Houston's own sentiments about their friendship. She expressed gratitude for Costner's unwavering support and recalled his insistence that she take on the role of Marin in The Bodyguard, stating that she knew from the start of filming that she had found a friend for life. Ten years after Houston's passing and 30 years after the film's release, Costner paid tribute to her legacy by announcing a screening of The Bodyguard in theaters. In an Instagram post, he celebrated the magic of the film and Houston's unforgettable performance, inviting fans to join in commemorating her legacy. Despite ongoing rumors and speculation, it is evident that Costner and Houston shared a profound connection that transcended their on-screen romance. As Costner eloquently stated at Houston's funeral, she was not just pretty, she was as beautiful as a woman could be, and she was loved by all who knew her. Their bond, both on and off screen, remains a testament to the enduring power of friendship and mutual respect.